Welcome to day in the life of a day trader slash programmer. Today we're gonna start with a healthy breakfast but also a budget one because the market has been pretty tough the past year. So we're gonna have some eggs, eggs white, spinach and also some cheap turkey sausage you know to help the protein gains because we're trying to get some muscles at least you know if we're not getting the gains from the market we're gonna get it from the breakfast. All right guys, so I've been day trading for quite a while now and this year with all this chat GPT and also like various other news outlet talking about AI and all the other stuff, you know, when it comes to technology, I realized that I was falling behind when it comes to day trading and just being active in the market if I wasn't putting enough work in my programming. So a couple of years back, I was starting to be decent. And this year I said it should really be a main focus of mine because if I'm not doing it, a couple of years down the line, I'll just be way behind like a bunch of other traders that just stop trading when the market changed at some point. So what I'm really trying to do is not necessarily go fully automated, but there's definitely enough tool that I should be able to code to help me do a lot less mistakes and save some time and also brain power. So let's finish this and I'll show you guys what I'm working on. All right, so let's talk about what I'm working on when it comes to programming. And also I'll share with you some tools that I found really useful to backtest and find some good ideas when it comes to day trading. So move this box is going to help a bit and let's show you guys what I'm working on. So the first project amongst many other is this little indicator here that you can see. So it's just a volume percent ATR percent. So how much a move compared to its ATR? What is the ATR? And also a long target if you're looking for a long and also a short target. So this is very simple, but it's just a little tool to help me be more systematic when I'm looking at trading large cap. When it's about trading small cap, it's not going to be very accurate anyways. But overall, it's just these are like little tools that could help you become better. But these are not the main focus when it comes to my programming. I want to really get into machine learning and also find more systematic based setup that I can actually just trade automatically or assisted just by, you know, some kind of alert saying that I should be getting in over here and selling over here. And I'm not talking about some cheap indicator that someone's trying to sell you on the internet. These are not going to be public at the end or, or they might be, but I really doubt it. So when it comes to the second thing that I always do on the weekend is backtest and look at what happened in the week. And that's not even the trade I took. That's just what happened in the market to understand more about the current situation and also the type of opportunity that we're seeing. Because sometimes it's always some short setup, sometimes it's always some long setup that are working. So you gotta figure out what really worked. And for this, I'm currently using a tool called edge to trade which I think it's a really good platform if you have a small budget because it allows you to really extract some good data and really go back and look at these charts, you know, the news and everything that happened with this. So when it comes to the last thing that I'm going to do today is just install an extra monitor. And the funny part about it is that it's not going to be plugged. It's actually just going to be to hide this place over here. The reason why it's when it's sunny, it's so strong that I'm actually um, having like to wear sunglasses at my desk and I look like a dumbass. Let's be honest. I'm just here sitting with my sunglasses pretty much like this. And this is what I look like, you know, I look like a jackass and uh, I don't mind because I'm alone over here. But at the same time, I thought that installing a monitor would be a better idea. So let's take a look at what it's going to look like. So what I have over here is actually a 32 inch. So it's pretty much a big ass screen and you guys can see, you know, um, it's going to be pretty much like this. I, I can actually no cannot do that so yeah that says what it's going to look like and it's actually a fully functional screen that's the worst part and it works pretty well it's a 32 inch 4k 
but it's not going to be plugged because my graphic card is not going to be strong enough so that's what it's going to look like whenever it's fully uh, done so that's going to be it for this video hope you guys enjoy and for the next one what i'll do is i'll bring you guys along my project and also my progress when it comes to programming and day trading so thanks for watching peace